What's up, modern Luris Lotus Breach fans? I am so sick of you, in a good way. All of you, I mean tons of you, leave comments on my videos just going, but when are you going to upload Lotus Breach? When are you going to upload Lotus Breach? Breathe? I appreciate you. I really do. But sometimes I upload other content. Today you're getting what you want. I hope you enjoy it, and hopefully this leaves some of those comments off those other videos for at least two days because you're relentless. So this list for the most part is what I've been playing the last month or so. I wasn't planning on uploading another video until I was able to record with Consider because re because Consider is actually exciting. Um, I want to test the deck with Consider, but I feel like right now we're in a little bit of like a lame duck period where I don't really feel the incentive to play this deck aside from you all badgering me. And but last night I played a league with this because I wanted to see how the deck felt before I recorded a league with it. And in last night's video, or I should say video, uh, league, I played one copy of Pact Negation and the normal five discard split. And Pact Negation overperformed the entire league. I went four and one. I beat a bunch of blue decks and I lost to Hammer Time, I think. And the Hammer Time matchup was close. It's just I didn't get it. Uh, but so this deck was fantastic. I beat Rhinos and I also beat Elementals, which are both Force of Negation and Endurance decks with that Pact of Negation. It was simply wonderful. And I was like, okay, well, Pact of Negation overperformed against both those decks. How could I possibly do this better? And when looking at the modern metagame, you see a lot of counter spells at the moment. So the Is It Tempo deck is now up to six to eight counters. When I was playing this deck a lot last month, they played two Counterspell and that was it. And now you'll see builds with four copies of Counterspell, three to four copies of um, Archmage Charm, and then a Spell Pierce. So it's a little bit different. They have more Counterspells than ever. And Pact of Negation is just a really great card because for one mana, you can get it with Wishclaw Talisman and then have your own Counterspell backup. This is better than Discard in some situations because it forces the opponent to invest their mana or cards in hand. So if they're going to cast Endurance, they're removing a green card. Uh, so it takes resources away from them one way or another. So that's why it's better than Discard, because Discard, they never have to invest anything. You do get the information on what's in their hand, but there's no investment ever made. So sometimes Discard cannot be great, where when you run Pact of Negation, that's never the case. So Pact was so good last night that I decided that I wanted to try a second in my video today. So I cut Thoughtseize. And you might be thinking like, well, Thoughtseize hits Primeval Titan or whatever. Most of the cards we care about cost three mana or less outside of like Grief. But Grief is going to go to the graveyard anyway and be brought back by Living End. Yeah. So I don't think Thoughtseize is necessary. Obviously it's good against Tron, but we have a pretty good Tron matchup as is. You could, if you really wanted to, you could run like a Inquisition Thoughtseize split. I don't think... That's where I want to be in this format that is defined by is it tempo. I think that life is too valuable and I'm not going to run Thoughtseize. If the format ever shifts a bunch, that might change. But for now, I'm running four Inquisition, two Pact. Well, there is a slot other than Thoughtseize that had to leave that might not be easily recognizable by looking at the deck list. It was Grape Shot, which might seem a little bit weird that I would cut the main deck win condition, leaving me with just Wish for Grape Shot. Honestly, the main deck grape shot was coming up less and less over the last month or so because Dothy Voidwalker was super popular initially and then has sort of died down a bit. It's mostly just in like the weird black red mid range decks now. Even Jund has moved off it. So I don't see the need to play main deck grape shot because it was mostly for Dothy Voidwalker to begin with. And now we just don't have to worry about that. So I'm not running a main deck grape shot anymore. I still have the Perilous Void. So if our opponent plays a Meddling Mage, we can Voyage it and then just keep winning. But Voyage also answers to Fairy if you have multiple packs or Chalice of the Void, that sort of stuff. So I do think Perilous Voyage is better in the main deck than a Wing King. Other than that, my main deck is exactly the same as it's been. So it's just, a, there's nothing to change. Like it's not exciting to record a deck list with something that it's refined as this is. So... I am really looking forward to testing Consider. I'm going to start with Sleight of Hand as the slot that is cut. 
Honestly, I could see it being Serum Visions, but Serum Visions digs three deep for Lotus Field where Slight doesn't. So we're going to keep Visions around, keep Bobble for that speed. We are still looking for speed, but also it works super well with Luris. A bunch of you keep on commenting on videos asking about that specifically. I uploaded a quick bolt on Consider already. Maybe you should watch that if you haven't already. Um, yeah, and then let's move to the board. So I did have an Inquisition here, but we moved it to the main deck. So this could have been Thoughtseize. But I wanted Pact and Negation for the reason that I mentioned with forcing the opponent to, you know, commit to resources. That way, you know, you can get them. Uh, because if they just have double counter spell, you get burned. And with them having six to eight, that is more likely to happen. Still two Void Snare. Void Snare was a two of in my last video, and I talked about how I liked it in the 2K. So I top eight it a 2K if you're unaware. But uh, I like boarding in one and then having one in the wish board. When you board in one, you get it. It's for the same reason we like Pact and Negation. It's one mana to go get it and then one mana to cast. So it ends up being very cheap. And that's why I like Void Snare over another copy of Echoing Um, Yeah, other than that, it's the same three copies of Engineer Explosives, which has just become sort of stock at this point. And then four copies of Ave that I covered in my last video where I talked about how good that lotus trick is where you can play lotus on turn two flow to blue twiddle it twice into your ave and ee -E and bobble help with free spells all this stuff if you want to watch that go check out my last video but for now we're just gonna you know get going into our video for today and if you're looking to support us always 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 leave a comment get us into that youtube algorithm it's free and easy to do, along with subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, please do so. That way you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest combo content. And you too can annoy me when you can ask, Hey, Brian, when are you going to upload your next Lotus Lurus Breach video? All right, I should stop that because I do appreciate all of you. I'm just trying to make a bad joke here. I love you all. Uh, but yeah, you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest Storm content. And next to that button is our members. You can become a member... And, you know, we have tons of sweet perks, like 50% off a donation deck, a free donation deck, sideboard guides. If you want a sideboard guide for this deck, I will make you one. Go check that out. Um, yeah. And then, as always, if you want to see your combo deck featured here on this channel, theepicsorum.com slash donation decks. We have a ton of card singles over at theepicsorum.com slash shop. Go check those out. But we also have a ton of sweet, sweet storm swag, playmats, pint glasses, token packs pens stickers we've got it all definitely go check that out and i mentioned our brand new mini token pack you get 128 tokens for 13 dollars. 64 double-sided tokens you get 10 black 10 blue 10 red 5 green 5 white 3 colorless 20 storm for counting all the way up to grape shot the galvanic relay indicator token four treasure tokens for strike it rich and then 10 monks for our vintage friends because we do love them as well and then slime time need help keeping track of your ave tokens no fumbling around with dice we've got your back covered the mini token pack it's simple and easy to do we wanted to make your life easy and then chatterstorm versus empty the warren squirrels versus goblins battle them out we've got your back 20 of each so that way you can keep all of your tokens you know clearly labeled no need for dice at competitive level rules enforcement that's my intro. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in match number one. I know you're not going anywhere because you've been asking about this for a while. So stick around. I hope we crush today. I hope we do better than a 4-1. All right. Welcome to round number one. And we're on the play. Reveal our companion. I said that weirdly, companion. And this hand seems fine. Um... Our opponent didn't reveal a companion, so what are they doing? I think we're supposed to start off on Serum Visions looking for land number two, and then on turn two we can Slide of Hand plus Inquisition. Let's just go get our Black Source now. Okay. Vision. Hmm. I'm going to get a little risky here. I'm going to keep the field. And then pass, and then just hope to rip a land for our draw step. I mean, I know that it's risky. Spire Bluff Canal, so most likely is it tempo. 
Did he not? Draw? Okay, I didn't get lucky in the land, so we're going to slide of him looking for that land. Got it. Easy game. Always had it, 100% of the time. All right, let's cast this Inquisition now. Click. We're getting rid of that. I wonder if we have a win on our turn. I think that we do. So we're going to float two mana. Play Lotus, Breach, Twiddle, Twiddle. We can use Wishclaw to go get Tome Scour. Yeah, we have a win. Assuming our opponent doesn't draw a counter spell here. Okay. They're tapping mana for something. They drew a spell. Duration, okay. So this can't find them anything meaningful for what it's worth. Um, even if they found Force and Negation, they don't have a blue card. So we're just free to crush their face in now. And that was a good draw. Okay, player field. Okay. Twiddle. Do, 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 do. I love this deck. Twiddle. Now tap for black. Play Wish Claw. Activate. Use the black. Because we really just want blue red floating at this point. Go get our Tome Scour. And easy peasy lemon squeezy tap. Turn three with protection. Love it. Add a bunch of blue. Scour. All right, and now we just have to go through the motions. So if you're not interested in watching me click, feel free to skip ahead. But uh, I don't like it. So like normally I could be quiet and let the auto editor remove this stuff. But sometimes people learn things here, so I don't want to remove it. Uh, so we're going to twiddle now. It's important that you do it before you run out of blue mana. I did have a situation once where I was talking to someone while doing this, and I accidentally tome scoured three times. So don't don't do that. It's bad. All right, storm is ten. We just have to build a few more storm here. Okay. Exile those or escape those, I should say. Let's twiddle again. I wonder if we even need to scour anymore at this point. Okay, so we're at storm 14. Twiddle again. Remove some cantrips, I suppose. Add red. Let's escape wish. I'm probably going to have to scour a little bit more. All right, so that's storm 16. So I can group shot, which would be storm 17. Just not enough. So let's remove the wish. I guess we could scour them twice and then group shot. So we get a little bit of information out of them. You're going to concede. Blood Moon? Blood Moon? What? Main deck Blood Moon. Not a nice person. Emrakul. Okay, so I got a lot of information out of them. They're a, uh, a Breach deck. Through the Breach. Thank you for not conceding. Grape shot. I guess that makes sense with the Vendalian click, so that way they can bottom their extra emeralds or whatever. And they probably have um, Nahiri in their deck. So now that I know what they're doing, I don't want to bring an Ave. I do think we want a few more bounce spells. But I think we could probably cut like slights for those. 
and then leave it as is. I suppose you could board in the third pact instead of leaving it in the board. Maybe take a wish out. Let's try this. I'm always up for trying things. I can't believe that our opponent just let us tome scour them twice and get all that info. I don't know what they thought was going to happen there, but like I found out that they have Blood Moon and they're through the Breach deck. It's just, just so much information and completely changes the context of game two. So hidden information is a real thing. So if you're ever in that situation, consider what you might be showing your opponent. If you're a stock, uh, like it, is it tempo deck? Maybe you don't concede because maybe your opponent will mess up. But if you're doing something unique like that, maybe question uh, letting your opponent see that stuff. Okay, game number two. I will reveal my good cat friend, Luris. Sure. We will, in fact, keep this. So this is a matchup, by the way, where Thoughtseize uh, would hit through the breach where Inquisition does not. Draw. And because we have uh, an extra land, I'm just going to fire off this Inquisition now. Double Blood Noon. Hmm. All right. So we want to find another Inquisition quickly. I want to be shocked if they played Iteration here just looking for a third land. Okay. We have three discard spells in our deck. It's also like not the end of the world if uh, we don't find a discard spell. We do have three bounce spells in the deck. They're drawing a mountain next. Okay, so they definitely have land three. Rip. I could, in their upkeep, tap a land to buy time. We do have this Perilous Voyage too. I don't know. I think I'm supposed to just like look for a basic island here. Bottom me. Alright, so the Blood Moon's gonna hurt. We're not dead, we just have to find uh one of our basics. Now we're gonna get mooned. So the silver lining on getting Blood Mooned here is that when we find our island, this Lotus, we wouldn't have had to sacrifice two lands. I'm just going to... They have Nahirian ending and three unknown. I mean, I could have taken the path where I twiddled their land and I chose to look for a fetch land instead, but maybe that's dumb. Because the fetch lane wouldn't have actually have helped. Worth noting, they can't actually cast these spells underneath their own Blood Moon at the moment. What is this? Okay. Well, sure. Basic Island. Okay, we're going to pass. Actually, turn off auto yields. Um, so next turn I might do this. I might put Lurus to my hand. And this it, it's a little bit sneaky. So what I can do is move to discard and then discard two cards, which allows me to play Underworld Breach and Escape Bobble twice to get two draws. And then having L L uh, Lurus in hand, I can just get back the Breach whenever we want to win. Alright, so now we have to discard two cards. And let's discard sleight of hand and twiddle. It could have been wish claw, uh, but on the combo turn, wish claw could theoretically go get a pact, but I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Ding. 
Okay, so we want a perilous voyage to the moon when the blue mana isn't available. So something we could do is tap down their island. And then untap our island and then perilous voyage, which would avoid um like force a negation. They have five cards, we know three of them. Tap your island nine. Okay. Sorry, I'm spinning here. Um maybe it's fine. Alright, and they can't counterspell this as far as I know. Bounce the Blood Moon. And a concession. Boom! <laughs> what a match number one. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I thought it was a blast. And uh, I'll see you in match number two. Match two. Reveal our Luris. And I apologize once again. Magic Online updated and shifted my sidebar. So the Storm count was probably cut off in game number one. But it's been corrected. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep this. All this hand really needs is just to find Lotus. And then Tome Scour. But this is still key. For sure. Looted Delta. Alright, so probably is it Tempo. Looks a little Tempo-y. I think I'm going to hang on to this Inquisition to try to find Lotus. Take the Slight. Just past the turn. Another uh, twiddle effect didn't really help us, which is why I take the slate. The slate helps us, you know, dig uh, for the lotus, so that's what we're looking for here. Uh, doing a lot of damage to themselves right now. Bolt and then double surveil, most likely. Their visions, okay. So sorcery going to the graveyard. And they kept the card on top twice. Okay. So the, these Dragon Rage Channelers will not be unleashed. They will not be delirious. I'm going to take one. We do have to find Lotus pretty quickly because those Channelers do represent a very fast clock. Okay. Well. Light. I think I'm supposed to visions here and not discard. I think I need to keep this light, but we're getting to the point where I'm going to be dead before uh, I can do anything meaningful. Bobble. Because, like, next turn we have to um, slide of hand into Lotus. That would be the best thing we can do. And two more attack steps. Like, they just need a burn spell somewhere in there. So, uh, assuming that these channelers become delirious, I would go to 11 this turn. And then the following turn, I would go to 4. So, I guess they need bolt plus dash or bolt bolt. I don't know. They're going to play iteration. All right, so there's instant. Now the channeler, are you going to keep this? I'd like it if they didn't become delirious, because that's an extra turn. They still won ones for now. I say for now, because Bobble could very quickly change that. They kept a serum vision. So now they get two more surveils. So they need creature or artifact. And they found the creature. Okay, so we're going to 11. We could just be dead uh, very quickly here. Like, hypothetically, let's say we draw Lotus for turn. So we're about to draw Bobble. We're drawing the, the slide, but even if we draw Lotus, we don't have access to Scour yet either. 
killing me. Yeah, I'm gonna Inquisition try to get a little bit in uh, info here. So they don't have lethal next turn. At least not yet. So I can fetch and um, so what's going to happen here is. I'm going to go to 10. They can attack for 6 next turn, put me to 4. I'm just looking for that Lotus. Okay, Bobble, or uh, Wishclaw is okay. But we actually, that's only good for Scour. Uh, because we need Lotus next turn. And this is play Wishclaw, activate, play Lotus. We don't have another turn after that. So not good enough. I'm going to bottom the Bobble. That doesn't help us. All right. And the reason to take Archmage Charm there is that they could draw themselves into Land Bolt. Well, I guess they already have the land, so uh, just Bolt off of Charm. We have 43 cards in our deck and 4 Lotus. We have to find Lotus off of our draw step or sleight of hand in order to win this game. We're at 4. So, I mean, even if they found Bolt, it wouldn't have been enough. They would have needed, like, Bolt plus Dash Dragon Man. Um... That's just how math. So if they decide to just pass here, we could look at twiddling creatures to stay alive next turn. I don't love it, but it's a choice. I imagine that they would just play Murktide plus Channeler here. All right, Islet. So maybe they're considering um, just like trying to draw into a counter spell with Islet instead. All right, come on, deck. Please give me Lotus. Yay, yay, yay. So, I can double twiddle and then go to one. I guess it's better to play that out and then just like have a random draw step and hope to hit. Almost a third of the way through the deck. Played one, two, three, four, five, six cantrips and uh, never found Lotus. Okay. Need to get extremely lucky here to win. So we go to one. They have Murktide, Vents, and One Unknown. And we're dead. Okay. Kind of a rough one. Yeah, it wasn't even coming. All right. I do like the Eve plan here. I've actually considered on like just going up to four, but I think you're supposed to leave one of the board for a wish. And I do like explosives. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do two or three. Uh, I've never really come to a solid conclusion on that. I do know that a lot of these decks play two Blood Moon on the board now, so I'm a little bit concerned there. And Pact and Negation plus the Eve plan has a little bit of friction because you can't Pact into the Eve unless you already have 5 mana. Okay, so we have to find 6 cards to take out. I'm okay with taking out Slight. And then Shaving a Wish. Maybe just go down to 2 Wish. It's a little bit clunky. Let's try this. Let's slime time live. All right. Yes, I'll be on the play. Oh, my hand with Lotus. That's crazy. What I do to deserve that. All right. So we're going to play Misty Bobble and then Bobble ourselves. And we're just going to do it on our opponent's turn. Delta. I don't really want a Delta, so I'm going to fetch on 
their own step. Okay. And then we get two draws here. We're going to play Wishclaw. The Bobble. I think it might actually hold that Bobble for um, Eve. So Ragavan going to get in there. Oof. That is the downside of running discard against Ragavan. Okay, if they're smart, they'll take Twiddle here. It's definitely the best card in this. Ooh, okay. I think I'm actually okay with them taking it with Inquisition, if I'm being honest. Okay. I don't know how good that pact is, but it's there. Okay. I'm still keeping the bobble for the possible wave. I don't have a definitive plan yet. We can always just like cash in the bobble and then do like a standard breach win. We don't have to commit to doing Ave. Oh no, and I F6. I F6 and I could have packed Twiddled. Oh! Get punished, Bryant. You had Pack Twiddle and you F6 like an idiot. Ugh. That was dumb. I think I just lost because of it, too. Yep. Ugh. That's brutal. Nothing matters anymore. We're just dead. Okay, draw. We only have one island in the deck, too, so, like, we'd have to find the island. I mean, I guess we could Wishclaw for the island. That's something we could do. I don't think that's a great line, but it's a choice. Maybe we have some fight in us. Draw. So now that I'm thinking about it, I I, I think there is a way for us to win this. Um, we'd have to Wishclaw for Island, Wishclaw for Void Snare, pack their counter spell, and then have enough resources to go off. We're going to attack. Now they can E for two, which blows up my wish clause, which kills this plan. Damn it. Ragavan too good. Have they played it for zero? That's interesting. Visions. I wonder if I should just like go get Island Bounce Spell on my next turn so that way I save mana. But I guess if I do that, they can. Uh, if this becomes delirious, that's five. So they could get Bolt Bolt if I did that, and I'd just be dead. Um. Yeah, I just have to pass. Okay. Could just be dead here as well. Claw. Well, Okay, so, I mean, we're not likely to win here, but I'm going to attempt to do something. Uh, Eve is not good enough at this stage in the game. Alright, so let's go get our island. And go get Void Snare. Island. Snare the Blood Moon. We would need a miracle to win this game. Counterspell the pact, or pack the counterspell. So if we had another twiddle, we could actually wish breach. 
uh, but we don't, and we drew an Ave. So the Ave was a bad draw. We do have the option of like trying to serum visions into exactly Twiddle. Um, that could do something. And we can't just Twiddle Ave because we gave our opponent double wish claw. We're just dead to bolts. So that is not an available option. And they have force. Okay, so we're gonna lose this game. We're going to be one one. Uh it happens. I played poorly, got punished. Game one, we were a little bit unlucky. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in match number three. Round number three. We're on the dragons grilled cheese, and they've taken a mulligan. Um I don't love this hand, but like it has land cantrips, maybe that's fine. I just feel like it doesn't do a whole lot, but maybe I'm being greedy by wanting to ship this. Like, it's so slow. I'm going to leverage the London Mall, and this is just so much better. Wow. I think you're supposed to bottom the Serum Vision. The totals are just more important, I think. Right. What are you on grilled cheese? Are you playing my popper deck in modern? Because that would be sick. We'll love Baron more. It took me a very long time to find a Japanese full place out of those. They're probably just on Jund. Ox. Okay, let's get rid of that. Should have known by the avatar that they were on Pox, right? What is this? Okay, so I lose two, they mill three, return a land, so they can get back ours of Saga. I should know what Witherbloom does. Uh I did play it in the Epic Storm for a bit. I wish they would have milled me three. That would have been very nice. Are they torn between Saga and a green source here? I guess that was the decision they wanted, Vernon Catacombs. Uh, so they can hardcast Lingering Souls that way. That makes sense. We're going to play Wish Claw. That's the Our opponent still has that Inquisition in there. Are they just playing Souls? No fear. Come on, Doc. Give me the win. That was not the win. Um, but we can Inquisition them and hit their Inquisition. I, I should have looked at that for a second longer. Was, was it another Lingering Souls push? I think it was. I'm going to risk playing field here. We know that they're a small, small pox deck, so I could get punished. But I'm going to play it out. Perilous Voyage we can use to bounce our Wish Claw next turn to get both halves of the uh, Breach combo. So right now we have a win next turn. Okay, I got really nervous right there that that was a small pox. They drew Thought Seeds. Okay. Interesting that they took a grip. Okay. So we can activate Wish Claw this turn and then bounce it with Voyage. And this land protects us from um, Smallpox. But I'm wondering if we actually just have a win. So Blue, Breach. I think we do just have a win here. Red, activate, go get Breach. Twiddle. Tap, Twiddle, okay, exile those, tap, let's bounce the claw, fries don't matter unfortunately, three block, activate using the block, it's actually very crucial that we use the block here. And now we go get Tome Scour. Scour ourselves. 
and now we have it. We just have to go through the motions. So we're going to target field on tap. These out some cantrips. Okay. And now we scour ourselves. You can exile the voyage, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay. Now we untap again. Firm's at 10, so we can grape shot soon. Uh, so we have seven cards in graveyard. Portal will be 12. Wish would be 13. And then grape shot would be 14. So we just have a win here. I believe that's how math works. Red. We play wish. Escape the other three cards. Okay. And now we cast some grape shots. Woot woot. And that's game number one over this pox variant. Ave seems pretty good against them, so I'm definitely going to bring an Ave. I don't think I want my own copy of discard spells. I'm also like not crazy about the packs here. Okay, I definitely want Void Snare and Echoing Truth. And then maybe we board in like any E. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. So the key thing here is to just, like, don't jam your Lotus into smallpox if you don't have to. Uh, I definitely got away with it in game one, but you really don't want to do that. Uh, it's the easiest way of losing this matchup for sure. And we saw that they do have a white splash. That means that our opponent could have uh, Kaya's Guile in post-board games. But we also saw that they're a Saga deck, so something like Relic or uh, Nile Spellbomb is very probable as well. If we wanted to, we could actually, uh, this would be a spot to board in Lurus as like a value engine. Let's try that over the E. I guess we could do E uh, as well. Maybe take out a Wish. Wish is good against Discard. I don't know. Maybe just like take out the void. Okay, well, I'm not allowed to now. All right, so no E. This seems fine. And I say fine because like we're going to get discarded a few times, so we have lands. They're probably going to hit our claw and our visions. There went visions. Next turn, I'd imagine that claw is going to go. Okay, there's and goodbye wishclaw talisman well a lot of the times in these ooh they took wish a lot of the times in these matchups it's just about uh i'll finally discard this echoing truth it's just about um like having a density of cards rather than specific cards because they're going to disrupt you so much that you just need to do your thing eventually Interesting that they decided that Wish was more scary than Wish Claw. So if we draw Ave on our turn, we can um, Wish Claw for Lotus and then Ave for a bunch. Ooh, so they had Weather Bloom. That's why they let me have Claw. Okay, I mean, I did see Weather Bloom in game one. I should have thought of that. Yikes. Voyage. Okay. This would have been EE, so I don't know. Um, all right, so we're going to be able to bounce a construct at some point. Uh, Loam Raven's Crime. I think we're dead. <laughs> all right, well, that's a pretty good reason to be running green. 
Yeah. All right, let's just go to game three. I'm not winning that one. Save some time. That was a very good start for the opponent. Um, honestly, I don't love the bounce spells. I don't know if there's anything better. Like, I guess I could bring in discard. Probably want to keep one bounce spell. He blows up all the spirits, but also hits all the constructs. He's in play. Let's try this. Okay. Sure. We have Lotus. We just have to find a second land. We have three copies of Ave in the deck, so all these Swiddles could help us go bananas. Well, that wasn't the land I had in mind deck. All right, we'll take Claw. Expecting to be hit by discard. Ooh, okay. Land. Thank you. So the question is, do we hang on to Wishclaw or do we pass? Or do we play it? So if I uh, play Wishclaw this turn, I definitely have Ave next turn. But let's say I just pass. Uh, Lotus Field. So float blue blue. Lotus Field. Put up to four. Uh, Dream Script would bring me up to six. Dream Script would bring me up to eight, which is exactly enough mana to Wish Claw um, and to Ave. All right, so I'm going to pass. Right. Sure. All right, so it's looking like we're about to go to slime time. Get a random land here. One, like it has to be a land we don't care about sacrificing. So I think I'm going to get silent. I don't know. Another twiddle. Hey, called it. Um. Yeah, let's go to party town. Population us. Uh, I wonder if we actually have... So we probably have a deterministic win here while tapping Spellbomb because you could entwine Dream's Grip. But if we do that, we could possibly lose to something like Surgical. So the question becomes, like, how much more likely are they to um, have Surgical than to answer something like Ave? And they kept open mana... I'm not really sure what they're doing. Like, my gut says that I should just eat. Okay. Now we're going to untap, and then we need to tap this Lotus Field for green. Let's scour them. Wayline of the Void. I can't imagine that they have Surgical, but I'm still going to Slime Time. All right. Seven Slimes. If you had Surgical or Extirpate or whatever you were holding mana for, not going to matter. Okay. There's one card that I can think of that I'm nervous about here, and I'm not going to say it until after the game is over. Slime time gets there. Two and one in this league, and I was wor worried there about land into Maelstrom Pulse. That's the only way I think that we could have lost that, because um, they all shared the same name. But we got it. We're two and one. I'll see you in match number four. We are back with match number four, and we are on the play. Reveal that cat. Okay, Yorian. I don't really know what that means in modern, to be honest. Uh, but we'll find out. I'm keeping this. I'm going to play Wishclaw Talisman on two, and then pray to draw some twiddles. 
It could just be like five color Niv. I don't know. It's grand to go. It could be like 80 card death and taxes in modern. Looks like that is actually it. I guess it could be like some sort of oops build, but I don't think that those exist anymore. There's our twiddle. So things are looking good for me right now, assuming our opponent isn't like I don't know what the, they're up to, so who knows? All right, so they are D and T. Okay, so that's gonna make my life a little bit more difficult. So I think I might actually this turn. Um, well, never mind. I drew Lotus Field. Always had it. Um, I'm gonna play field. <laughs> How lucky. I think what we want is to. Ah, uh, I can't beat that card. I mean, I can. It's just very, very difficult. All right, we just have to pass. And I, I could put Luris to my hand here. But our opponent has Field of Rune in play. So if they destroy my Watery Grave, I want to be able to go get a land. So our out here is Witch Claw into... Um, what is it called? Um, Perilous Voyage. We can't wish for an answer because it, our kind of Emiria only lets us play one spell per turn. Amphalia, come on. Brutal. Brutal. Yeah, not a whole lot we can do. Our opponent just has lethal next turn. Maybe we could get lucky and just draw the voyage. We could actually win if that were the case. Okay. I think now we want to use that floating mana. Go get Voyage. We're just dead. We're just dead. We can't win. Our opponent would have to ghost quarter us for no reason. And then we'd have to draw an untapped land. Um, yeah, we're dead. Team two. What a bummer. We actually had a reasonable shot of winning that game before the Thalia came down. So I think we definitely want a slime time here. Probably bringing all that stuff. Put out the slights. I think we want the discard spells. Maybe take out one wish. Maybe shave one discard. Try this. Friendly reminder if you're looking to stay up to date on the latest and greatest combo content, open up our description of this video and in there you will find seven social media channels where you, there will be tons of storm content i would personally recommend the discord a lot of great combo conversation happening in there every single day it's fairly active so definitely join our discord which is free to do okay we are on the play for game number two sure I think I'm going to lead off on Visions, and then I can Inquisition on turn two. I'm taking a Mulligan. Visions. I think I want the Twiddle, but it does cost me because I'm not drawing into Lotus, which we need to win. They have a sort of Fire Ice coming in this turn. Draw. 
All right, so that gives us access to Lotus eventually, but I think now I'm supposed to discard them. Take the rip. I'm just going to do this now. All right. Cleans. Draw. A good one. Why not? Okay. They're going to get in there. We go to 11. Are they going to play Flicker or Ghost Quarters because we put two on top? Sword, okay. I think this is a turn that we go for it. Lotus. Twiddle, twiddle. Or I'm sorry, sacrifice. Now we twiddle. Twiddle. We play breach. Deep. I wonder if there's a way that we fit the um inquisition in here because like the flicker wisp is going to trade with two so it'd be nice if i could fit that in somehow so let's this okay and now we can escape inquisition bobble vision rip makes sense Flicker Wisp. Do another slime time. From seven. Been the theme so far. And I don't think they're going to be able to beat this. They're going to use Claw? Okay. And concede. So we're going to game number three against death and taxes. I wonder on the draw if I cut wish for the fourth. I okay. I think the answer is yes, because I just want a little bit more interaction. Good hand. They kept seven. Okay. That, that's just a 1-1 creature against us. We, we don't actually care much about that. I'm just going to be lazy and do this now. Wish we had an Eve in our hand, because holy smokes. Or kind of a Myria. Yikes. That's not good news for us. Okay. Let's draw an Eve, please. Annoying. Yep. I think we just have to pass here. Yep. So I'm sort of considering like, what if we bounce the Archon? But I feel like it's a little bit of a waste. I think I'm just going to pass. Bottom those, play field. All right, we just need to draw some action. They're just going aggro. That's their plan. All right, so we're taking seven. All right, so breach is now shut off. Draw. Um, so if they activate uh, Mistress Factory and attack next turn, they have lethal. I was thinking, like, what if I just bounce uh, Archon of Emeria? But they still have lethal, so I would need... Well, actually, I could bounce Archon and then Twiddle. 
a creature. Okay. I think that's the plan. Although I don't know why they animate factory here. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to give me a window. Bounce Archon. Our opponent's going to draw a card. And then I'm going to twiddle the Mishra's Factory, which might seem weird, but this prevents them from like playing a Thalia or something post combat. Let's use the Bobble now. We go to two. We need a miracle here. Draw. Not that, that's not a miracle. Uh, you have to hit something really good. What does that do? Um, so they have a an, a mother of run, so we would need to E for one. Or else we're dead to the mother. Keep that on top. Um, tap. Tap. I don't know if this is actually going to be good enough. I don't think it is. All right, so now we can A for six. Okay. When it's at 20, there's Archon. We have a twiddle on top to tap that. So that way it's not going to deal as lethal. Dorian, okay. Draw. So I need to leave at least three creatures back. And I can twiddle the dream script to also untap a blocker. Hold on. Uh, what if... I'm just trying to think out loud here. What if I swing out and I, I tap a creature? Uh, so they'd have to block the two biggest creatures, which would keep them alive. Okay, so that's not going to work. I think there's a chance that I win this one. Okay, so we're going to twiddle the Archon when they go to combat and untap another ooze. Oh, it gains flying. I didn't realize their land gave flying. I thought it was just a 3-4. We're dead to the land. Yep. Okay, so I guess we were dead the whole time. That's a bummer. Did our opponent miss lethal last turn then? They might have, right? Like they might have missed lethal because they replayed Archon. Ah, uh, that's such a bummer. That was a really good match. I'm not even upset about that. All right, so we're 2-2 two and two now. Let's just get this last one and uh, get our money back. See you in match number five. The fifth and final round of this league. Let's reveal Luris and see if we can uh, get our money back. Sure. The hand. What are you playing, opponent? No companion. No. Okay. Lotus Bloom. Never mind. Ad nauseum? Are you ad nauseum opponent? The question is, can we get a turn three? I think we're going to need another twiddle off the top to pull that off. This suspend. 
prison. Okay. Okay, so we could be dead on their turn. All right, we definitely have a turn three if I'm allowed to untap now. The question is, am I allowed to untap? I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually faced that nauseum. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Five mana? It only takes four. I don't want to say it out loud because I don't want to jinx it. Ah, oh, you jerk. They should take the twiddle here. I don't know if that's what they'll do, but that's what they should do. Hoping that they take the wish. We are in trouble. All right, they correctly chose twiddle. So we want to draw a twiddle off the top or lotus. So we have 11 outs. Going. All right, so they're playing on life. All right. Um, so yeah, we have those 11 outs. I guess I could, in theory, like go get packed, but that's not, I mean, I'm going to kill myself if I do that. All right, so we hit. Um, is this actually good enough? So activate Quadra Grave, go get Lotus. Put a Lotus. Play Breach. Yeah, that's not good enough. Why did I think that was good enough? We we would need another twiddle in order for that to work. Um so something I could do is so they have four mana. I could tap their lotus in their upkeep. Does that do anything? If I tap their lotus? Uh no, because they could just add nauseum in response. I just dead. Like I know that I can uh wish claw talisman for Inquisition, but I don't think that's good enough. Then again, that deck only plays like the more recent builds only have one ad nauseum. I don't know what to do here. So once again, activate wish claw, go get lotus field, bolt blue. Twiddle. I can then play Breach, but I don't have another blue to then uh, Twiddle again. So I think I'm supposed to just scour myself and pray. This saves me a mana next turn. Don't kill me. Alright, now they get their Lotus Bloom. No whammies. All right, the opponent's casting sleight of hand. I mean, maybe that's a good sign that we're not dead. I don't know. Serum visions. They have two cards in hand. They were trying to tap the murk water. All right, well, it looks like they're passing here. We might actually have a chance to win this now. I guess Angel's Grace is kind of an issue. We could have Angel's Grace. I don't know if I have a great answer for that. Red, blue. The last curve of spoils. They got packed to negation. So they will have to pay for packed here. Uh, no, I think we're just dead. 
So what our opponent can do is they can Wishclaw for Angel's Grace, don't pay for Pact, and then kill me. Oh, so they had Angel's Grace as their last card already. So now they can Wishclaw for Ad Nauseam. And we're dead. Sort of a bummer. Right, so they've successfully activated Wish Claw Talisman. This should just be what? You angels graced. Like you should have just gone kind of Adnos. What are you doing? Do I not understand something? Do you not play ad nauseum? Are you just like a pure oracle deck? Are you slow rolling me? I don't understand anything. All right. Sure. Does this breach resolve? I maybe like they don't play ad nauseum anymore. Like maybe that's a thing. Okay, so let's scour and remove some lands. All right, so we have Pact in the graveyard now, but if it's another Angel's Grace, it doesn't matter. I guess I could Dream's Grip and tap the Lotus and untap Field. Let's try that. All right, so Angel's Grace is shut off now. Um, power. So I know that our opponent's at six life and we could grape shot, but the way that uh Rexian on life works is we're going to have to grape shot for 14. Whittle. Okay. Our opponent's just gonna be nice and content for us. Okay. I feel like I got away with one there. Maybe I don't understand this deck completely anymore. Uh, I do have Goldfish up over here. I haven't used it all league, but I, I opened it before I started recording. Um, let's find Ad Nauseam to see if it's even in here anymore. Not a very popular deck. I guess I could just type in Ad Nauseam, right? Zero results. What Oracle? The disrespect. They have Ponza with Fan Harmonicon in here, but not Ad Nauseum. Evoke Control. Okay, so that's in here. How do they not have Ad Nauseum? Possibility Storm. They have to have it. Fruity Pebbles. There's Total Storm by Saffron Olive. Um. Oh, these are the budget decks. I must have clicked on the wrong tab. I have a minute 30. That's why. I'm a dummy. Here we go. All right, so the latest list has two. Maybe they just blanked on killing me. One. Yeah, they must have just missed it. All right, so I think I want Pact of Negation and board out this Perilous Voyage. Let's try this out. <sighs> Reveal Luris. My very good friend. So if this hand draws land number two, it's very good. Um, I think I'm just going to try to get a little bit lucky here. We have two draw steps. 
19 other lands in the deck. I guess three of them are other copies of Lotus Field, so 16 with two draw steps. We also have eight cantrips. Then Lotus Bloom, okay. Bad draw deck, bad draw. Yeah, I'm going to get punished for keeping this hand. I can feel it. There's the gemstone. Prism. Oh, Profane Tutor. Okay. Land? Hey, lucky duck. Lucky duck. Play that wish claw. Okay. Be really good if they tapped out here for like the um the land enchantment. Can't think of what it's called right now. Um Rexian on Life. That would be best case for us. Yes. Another lotus field. But I think I'm like priced into trying to win here. I do have a fear, and that fear is that if I Tried to pact, and then they have, um, what's it called? Um, I want to this. Angel's Grace, it's really difficult for me to win. They should have pacted the Twiddle. Um, I just have to pass now. We should be dead, most likely. So they're going to get Unsuspend Lotus Field here, or Lotus Bloom, and then Unsuspend Profane Tutor all at once. So they're going to have six mana. Oh, they have Pact. Um, so Profane Tutor might have to get um, Angel's Grace, unless they want to pay for Bloom. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, so it's going to work like we're dead. <laughs> so now they get Ad Nauseam. I guess if they have uh, Spoils in hand, uh, that would work too. Like Spoils Oracle. Or the other half. So they could have either half of the combo here. They just have a lot of interaction. Taking a long time. The pack trigger. They don't need to pay for pact because the angel's great. Am I dead? Ad nauseum. Okay. So they're allowed to draw their entire deck here. Um, I don't know if this deck can win with just a land drop anymore. I don't think it can, but I'm not sure. Okay. So they have a land drop here. I don't know how they make another mana. Maybe there's just something I'm not understanding. They're going to die to state-based effects when they pass. And then they conceded. Okay, so we went three and two. I think most of this league was pretty competitive. Um, like, let's look at our matches. So this was... Jeez, I can't even remember now. I know that this was the is it matchup or choice. It felt pretty close. It just, we didn't happen to win. Oh, this was the uh, through the breach deck. Uh, this was, is it where... Admittedly, I got a little bit unlucky in game one. Game two, I definitely punted by not pacting. Game three, or match three, was the Pox deck, and those were decent games. Um, Eve showed up big in game three. I really liked match number four. I thought that was an awesome match despite not winning. And once again, Eve was huge. And the max match five, I felt like our opponent uh, maybe was learning ad nauseum. Who knows? They might be a master, and I'm just not familiar. But 
Uh, still a pretty interesting league in my opinion. And I, I do like two packed. It didn't show up a lot here in this uh, league, but I think it's better than Thoughtseize in most circumstances, uh, at least in the current meta, despite not winning the matchup that I added them to the deck for. It's been really good. And Ave was just amazing this league. Wow. Uh, but if you have any suggestions for improvements or cards I should try, feel free to let me know. I just can't wait to test consider in about a week. Uh, yeah, about a week from today. So uh, actually a week from today, I will be in Baltimore or outside of Baltimore, I should say, at the Legacy Pit Open. But I know that Consider uh, is going to be available on Magic Online Thursday night. So maybe if I have time, I'll record uh, Friday. I'm not sure the logistics yet, but I'll try to get a Consider League out in the next week or so. So stay tuned. I appreciate you. I'm sorry for my bad jokes in the beginning of this league. I, I do appreciate everyone who watches and comments on this channel, but you can't get enough of this deck. Uh, yeah, take care, keep storming, have a great day, you're beautiful. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.